All right, as you know, I got a new bin. It rained all day today, guys. So I did not go to the scrapyard because I did not feel like getting wet to throw a load on my truck. So yeah, she's empty. But we got scrap to go in. Someone delivered me a stove this morning, guys. Called me at eight o'clock this morning. Wanted to know if I take it. I said, oh yeah. So they dropped it off. Sweet. Yeah. I'm just cutting some grass. Gotta cut some grass for my, my goats. They still haven't got, I still haven't gotten it out yet, guys. So I gotta cut some blade grass here. So I'm gonna cut some tall grass here for them. They like that. So I'll cut that for them, throw it in their thing, just for time for them to be closed up for the day. They have a certain time, I put them, uh, close them up for the night. So, but yeah, brand new bin, guys. Well, so if you wanna know what to weigh, what to pay, woo, I guess you'll have to stay tuned. Stay tuned and see what I got for my bin that went out yesterday. Probably won't be until tomorrow when I pick it up. So I'll probably take some scrap with me when I go up some aluminum and some other stuff. Well, I just took one of them apart and guess what? It was worth taking apart. You should see what's in it. I took it apart and all the stuff now is the plastic and a little bit of metal on it. But yeah, you want to see what's in it? You want to see what's in one of those babies? Oh, it was worth it. Look at this. This is what came out of it. Look at all that brass, guys. A nice little rat on the back of it. Look at that. I don't do the motors, you know that, guys. I don't take them apart. But there's a nice little motor in there. Not to cast aluminum on the end of it. Yeah, I just don't do all that stuff. Apparently. As you guys can see, I don't do the motors. I got motors laying in, in everywhere. Don't have time for them. Starters, alternators, I got everything here. From all the jobs I've been doing. Oh yes, this was uh, something unique I didn't. I've never, I don't think I've ever seen one here. Look at that. First time I think I ever had one. So, yeah. Uh -huh. Made in England, guys. How about that? Yeah, I probably won't take it apart. I'm just gonna pull the wire out of it, all the cable out of it, all the set of it. I'm gonna cut it and then just throw it in the motors. Yeah, I got another one there that's not, it's not a New England one, but made in New England. But all the rats from all the uh, fridges I did. Yeah. So yeah, if you guys do fridges, just make sure guys, when you do fridges, make sure you guys get the Freon taken out of them, guys. Okay, because that stuff is poison and it's not good for our environment, okay? So don't just cut the lines and walk away. You guys do it right, okay? Do things the proper way, even if you are doing scrap. Recycle and make sure that you do it uh, the chemicals the proper way because the stuff is not good for the atmosphere and it's not good for you guys to be sucking it in. Okay, so get a hold of a company that does air conditioners or furnaces or something, and make a deal with them or have them come out and do it when you got a bunch of them or something, or take them to the scrapyard and have them take it out if they have someone on site. So some of them will do it. Some of them uh, have uh, a qualified person that'll come in and do it for them. So just so you know, just to do things right, guys. All right, so I took a load up to collect my other money, so I had a bit of steel on there, so I left it on. It was 220 pounds, 25 bucks. This paid for my gas, essentially. So dirty aluminum, I had 80 pounds of dirty aluminum and 24 pounds of aluminum, clean aluminum, guys. So that's what I got. I got 58 bucks just for that. Now, does everybody want to know what, what did the container, what did it weigh, what did it pay? Well, shall we get to it, or shall I make his wait in anticipation? Hoo, hoo, hoo. I'm over here where the goats are right now. I just give them some grass. Just book up, ready to call it a day. I got to put these guys away yet. I got to put some more food in their dish yet. I haven't done that. I just got them some grass. Just the blade grass are eating. Sometimes, well, as you can see, Mocha's not decided if she wants to go in or out yet. She's had her head kind of wanting to stick it out, but she hasn't decided. Yellow's one's munching down, which is Nomi. What do you say? Huh? You're not going to come out? you got to come out and play? Hmm? <laughs> she doesn't know what she wants to do. But anyhow, all right, let's get back to this, guys. Are you ready to see what the way with the pay? All right, guys, so we had 3,600 pounds, and the scrap did go down, guys, just so you know. I think the last time it was 13 cents. It is 11 now. 11, I guess, 11.5. I don't know. But yeah, it was $414. That's what I got for that container. Most of it was appliances, which I stood them up, as you've seen. So it took a lot of space up. Um, most of the weight was in the front, the small stuff I had. So with the two of them, wasn't too bad. 
wasn't a bad little jag of money. I mean, it was something, guys, for sure. What do you think? Paper's not for you. No, it's not. The paper's not for you. <laughs> I'll be like, the goat ate my homework. <laughs> the goat ate my homework. She doesn't know what to think. <laughs> she was crawling all over me this morning, anyhow. But anyhow, guys, so that's what I got for the load. I had 3,600 pounds. And my other load was 58 bucks. That was my gas money. I always take a load up of loose stuff or whatever just to pay for the gas going up. So driving all the way up there. Look what's climbing over there. <laughs> Anyhow, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll catch you on the next one.